You have great purpose in life. Have letter number 5887. January 6, 2017. Beloveds, it must be apparent to you that there is more to life than meets the eye. I have heard you say to yourself, many a time, there has to be more to life than what is in front of me. Have you not perhaps tut-tutted about this sad fact? You do not arrive here on earth all by yourself. Meaning exists for you to be here. There has to be a greater purpose in life than just spending non-existent time here from beginning to end. You are here for more than simply living out your years and getting through what is called life. When you take a ride on the ship or even a ferry boat, you are going somewhere. You are going from somewhere nearer and nearer to me and nearer to the truth of yourself. You are sailing somewhere. You are commuting somewhere. There is a reason. You have a purpose, which, in your present eyes, may appear as big or small. On a cruise ship, there is another meaning to a cruise. Instead of walking in life or driving a car home or taking a plane, you are on a cruise. You are going in one direction rather than another. You are going to or you are coming from. During the interim of your cruise, you are nevertheless sailing. Of course, you are free to enjoy the ride. I ask you to enjoy the ride. It is my desire that you enjoy the ride. Do this. Let go of what prevents you. Do it now. Certainly, your life on earth this tour has to be for enrichment for you, those around you, and the world. No one is here without purpose, whatever you may think of it. This may not have sunk into your awareness as yet, what else is new? Are you here to learn something? Absolutely. Are you here to leave something behind? Absolutely. Go ahead and imagine all the blessings that are yours to bestow upon the world. This is a good idea, to keep your eye on the blessings you are to perform. Is it likely that you will know exactly what your purpose is? This is not a sure bet. In fact, this can be unlikely. Not impossible, but unlikely. What you can know is that there is something worthy that you will leave in your wake. Certainly, you may leave more than one beautiful aspect. You may leave many. Dear ones, you venture forth for something. Your journey isn't for nothing. It is for something. It doesn't matter who you are. You can be rich or poor. You can be educated or illiterate. There is nothing you have to be but a human being to add grace to this world that hungers for it. Every blessing is necessary and worthy. What you see as big or little doesn't matter, for from where I sit, all blessings are equally significant. Where I sit, size does not exist. Where I sit, all contributions are great and gratefully accepted. There is no partiality. I do not squint and take an estimate. All my children are welcome, and all my children's blessings are equally welcomed. To reflect myself in human terms, all my children and all my children's contributions light my face up with infinite joy. Currently, you likely measure yourself on the scale that is faulty. The contribution of the human heart can only be great. From greatness you came. To greatness you return. Soon you will come to accept and live the greatness you truly are and that I see clearly right in front of me and wish with all my heart to pass on to you to see for yourself. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org